Great. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Okay, so the sun is back. The masks are gone. Spring is here, and life goes on. Um, so welcome to the 6th BMC. Uh, it's great to see all of you here. So uh, good morning, everyone. Um, well, we're back on the Montgomery site here at the Ishek. Very exciting. We have a great team with us. Um, they're all dressed with their beautiful spiffy uh, blue polos. So uh, we're really looking forward to uh, hearing all your brilliant ideas. We have a lot of smart people in this room. Uh, so here's what we're going to do in this uh, opening ceremony. First, I'll talk about the three cases. Then we'll talk about the schedule, the meals, the breaks, etc. We'll talk about uh, some of the partners and experts. We have some here uh, with us today. I'll talk about the uh, presentations and then a few surprises. But before I go any further, I would like to invite Ishek's rector, Mrs. Shanwan. Hello, the students. I'm so pleased to see you this morning without your mask, with your smile on your face, ready for those three days of craziness. I'm really pleased also that this challenge is on site and not virtually, like last year. The only problem is that we had to open the, um, the, the teams or when we were still in COVID. That's why we couldn't, at that time, not open to a lot of students. It means that you are less teams, but with the same amount of prizes. So, I think you understand what I mean. And the prizes are very nice. I am confident that you will be very happy. The Brussels Management Challenge is unique because the teams are composed of management students and STEM students, science, technologies, engineering, mathematics students. The BMC is also unique because it's organized by ISHEC, ISHEC alumni, and ISHEC junior council. It means faculty, alumni, and students all together. The BMC is also unique because three cases come from three different sectors, domains, KPMG, NLB, and Dupigny. You taste the, the, f the juice food, fruit juice, it's very good. So we, you will have to deal with big data, supply chain, corporate social responsibility, and so on. The BMC is finally unique because you are unique and you will show what you are able to do, what you are able to find, and what you will be able to show to the juries tomorrow afternoon. Those two days will give you a unique experience of team working, critical thinking, and innovation. And this is made possible by a great team of Ishek Junior Consult, and I really would like that you give them a huge applause. <laughs> and now, I wish you a very good luck, a lot of energy, and see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, can you hear me? Is that right? Yeah, is that good? You hear me? Okay, so uh, BMC, we have three cases just like we had uh, last year. So all of these cases are inspired uh, from real life practical uh, issues and situations that these uh, companies have to address. So as Mrs. Uh, Shanwan said, the first one is gonna be about uh, data processing. The second, second one is going to be in the health sector about uh, optimization of the resources. And the third one is going to be regarding the supply chain, okay? So it's gonna be three cases over two days. Uh, we're gonna have two, two cases today, the first two cases, which will be KPMG at nine o'clock and uh, NRB at 4.45. And tomorrow will be the third case uh, with uh, Dupigny. 
Then what you guys will do is tomorrow afternoon, you guys will present your results to the jury of each one of the companies. I feel like I'm giving a class here. Uh, but anyway, uh, so each case is five hours long. Uh, there will be breaks with delicious meals. It's one of the best parts of the BMC, honestly, are the, are, are, are the meals. So um, in order to avoid uh, everyone crowding in the cafeteria, you guys will be called. You guys will, will be texted uh, to know when you guys can come and uh, eat. Uh, so it's going to be two challenging days, but it, it, it will be worth it uh, with uh, I mean, I mean ev everything that you guys are going to experience and the prizes that we will be uh, talking about in a few minutes. Um, before I bring the partners up on stage and we watch the videos, I do have to say, uh, just have to give you some more information. So during two of the five hours, let me, let me rephrase that. So each case is five hours. Uh, two, hour, two hours out of those five, um, you will be able to ask uh, questions to the uh, to the company's experts. Now, um, in order to find them, uh, you will be texted a message telling you in which rooms the experts will be. Now, these experts can also pass by uh, your room and just check up on you. So, uh, that's the first thing. Let's move on to the first partner. The first partner is going to be uh, KPMG. So this uh, KPMG is one of the four accounting uh, or, um, organizations specialized in field uh, uh, f uh, financial audit, tax, and advisory. Uh, today we have uh, Mr. Uh, Lefebvre, uh, Gaetan Lefebvre. So let's uh, welcome him up on stage and he will introduce their case. All right. Good morning, everyone. So I'll first present shortly KPMG, and then uh, we'll talk about the case. Glad to be here. So yeah, KPMG. KPMG uh, has, um, you just said, uh, is indeed uh, one of the big four. Uh, we are a multinational present in uh, almost uh, 160 countries. We have here in Belgium uh, 1,600 employees, and uh, every year we, we hire 300 new uh, graduates. We are present in uh, multiple different activities. Audit, that I assume you, you know, and that's one of uh, our big activities, but also advisory. Myself, I'm from a technology advisory, and in, in advisory ha we have also a broad range of activities, and then uh, we have also our specialist of uh, tax and uh, accounting and, uh, and legal. In advisory, as you see here, many different activities. I would be glad to talk about those in details. We'll uh, have the opportunity to, to talk, uh, to meet, uh, obviously <laughs> tomorrow uh, for, for the jury, but uh, also uh, at the end of the day tomorrow, I'll be present uh, with my team to to meet you and uh, and discuss as you as you see we have very different uh, activities today for the case we'll do a mix of two um, two big departments which are business services and technology but as you see also very diverse activities today we'll uh, we'll do a mix of uh, supply chain management and um, data analytics So yeah, I'll present now the data analytics challenge. As I said, today we'll uh, we'll do a supply chain, more more uh, particularly the the procurement process. So the the goal will be to uh, to analyze a process, and we'll do something that is called process mining. I don't know whether you've heard of this. The goal typically is to analyze data uh, from a system that is used uh, within the company to track all the procurement uh, process and we'll ask you to to deep dive in the data analyze the process itself based on the data and find issues here obviously we'll, we'll provide you with the with the slides and you'll you can you can go through them and see uh, all, all the detailed context here that's a, a first general slide on the classic issues that are encountered uh, in uh, in supply and, and procurement management for example um, they, they depend really on all the different business processes in the company and so that can create issues when it's not transparent to them, uh, they, that can create um, 
um, long delays because they are dependent on uh, other people. Um, but I suggest, yeah, for the case of today, uh, we present you uh, Bernard Smith, who is uh, the chief procurement officer of a, of a company. And he has very, very um, ambitious goals for his company, for his department. However, uh, during, during the year, he understands that he's going to be in trouble uh, to, to reach those goals because he, his employees um, tell him there are recur recurring issues um, such as uh, a lack of clarity and uniformity of uh, his procurement process. And this creates uh, a high backlog, long delays, and therefore the different suppliers are not happy because they have to wait for a long time in order to get paid. Um, and therefore, that's a bit a crisis. And he asked then consultants, which are you today, to find what's going wrong and suggest solutions. And so today, we'll ask you to do two things. First, um, analyze the process, understand how, how it's working, what's going on, and identify the issues with this process. Afterwards, we ask you also, obviously, to make recommendations to the CPO so that uh, he knows what to do, how to uh, solve the issues that you have uh, identified. Here, we've given you uh, from the client, uh, the normal process, the ideal process. Uh, and so you can see the different uh, steps. Um, I recommend you so to, to use this as a basis, but you will see in the tool uh, that we, we have uh, taught you to use, and we, we organize a webinar so that you can use PATH now together with uh, Power BI. Uh, in this tool, you will see that this process is not always respected in practice. And so that, that's basically the, the case. Um, but so you have here the, the baseline. Uh, here you have a, a short uh, data dictionary showing you the, um, all the different fields that are used in, in the tool. So basically, we have extracted from the client the data set from, from his uh, procurement system. And uh, you have so many different fields, and we have loaded this into PATH now. And thanks to this, now we can perform analysis on, on the actual data. The challenge itself, what do we expect from you? So we have actually already done the loading of uh, the data into PATH now. We have already built a dashboard so that you can easily uh, browse through the data you will be provided uh, this this uh, this dashboard. They will communicate uh, on uh, the practicalities later on. Uh, I understand it's on the drive. And uh, you will also obviously get those slides. And so based on, um, on this dashboard, we ask you to uh, first identify the issues. What are the issues in the process? We've shown you the normal process. Obviously, you will see that it's not always uh, followed correctly. There are, as we mentioned previously, there are usually delays, and so we, identi we ask you to identify, okay, in which part of the process are there delays, what's causing them, and um, basically we, you will see there are potentially hundreds of issues. We ask you to identify the, the most impacting issues and to give us a summary, because tomorrow you have to give a presentation, and so th for this presentation we ask you to, to give us an overview of the most impacting issues. So that's also an important element. You have to assess the impact of the issues and uh, select some of them. And we want, in the end, a summary of the most impacting issues. You'll have to justify why you think this is mo more impacting than another one. That will be part also of the Q&A um, tomorrow during uh, the, the presentation. Um, for those issues you have selected, we ask you also to suggest solutions, business solutions. How could we solve this in practice? Obviously, you will see in the data set you do not have that much information. And so that's also uh, asking you to be creative and come up with solutions even if you do not have all the information. That's also part of a consultant job. Huh? Sometimes you have to make hypotheses so that uh, 
the, c the client can get something because you do not you will never actually have all the information like you might have that in, in some exams but uh, in practice that's not the case you you have uh, always some missing information you have to make hypothesis and ob obviously present them to the client as well so you cannot just say this is the truth no this is the truth considering those hypotheses uh, finally, um, you will see, uh, as I said now, the, the data set is relatively limited. There might have been other dimensions, other data we provided, uh, or also other views in the dashboard. Uh, we've not done the full possible scope of analysis. And that's also then part of the challenge. We ask you, what could have been other dimensions we could have included in this challenge, in this uh, analysis? That's also looking at your creativity here. Um, yeah. And so we'll evaluate you based on five criteria. Uh, first, the width and depth of the analysis, meaning um, there are multiple dimensions uh, possibly uh, to analyze. So the more you do, the higher your chances are to, to get a, a good score. However, we also will also be looking at how deep you go. So obviously if you do a, l a lot in quantity but not that much quality because you didn't go that deep, then maybe not a good, uh, a good way to work. So you, you have to find an equilibrium between, uh, between both. Leverage of path now, obviously <laughs> we provide you with a, with a tool. Uh, the goal is to work with the tool and not to come up with a presentation where we see, okay, well you've not worked with the data, you just come with a Yes, some some ideas, but which are not based at all on, on the data we, we provide. The goal is here is to really to do data analytics. Um, originality of the suggestions and approach. Uh, so as I said, we ask you suggestions of solutions, suggestions also of uh, new dimensions for the analysis. Um, the more original, the better. Um, think out of the box. Um, obviously, that <laughs> still needs to make sense, uh, and so that will be part of the maybe the 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 last point as well for, for of argumentation you, you'll need to to be able to defend your ideas uh, we'll uh, challenge you during the presentation and yeah the fourth one visual and oral communication so we expect you to give a presentation uh, we'll assess you on uh, how good you are at presenting and also on your presentation uh, slides that's basically it um, so in appendix, yeah, one thing I, I didn't mention, since it has, since it's a very large data set with a, a lot of uh, possibilities, we've uh, collected some questions asked by the employees of the client um, on, on the process. Some of them might help you uh, in finding axis of analysis, because uh, there are many different options. Here you can see there are some suggestions uh, of questions by employees. Not all of them are relevant. And that's also reality. Eh? We, we didn't want to come with a very academic case where it's not really what you will encounter in practice. In practice, the client gives you a lot of information and you have to dive in and select what is relevant or not. Here that's the case. You have 40 questions. The goal is not for you to answer to those questions. That's more giving you a direction on what should I look at? And possibly you will find some issues while trying to answer to those questions. But uh, again, in the presentation, we expect you to give more a summary of a global summary overview of the issues, not to give an answer to those questions. OK, this is just giving you some direction or where, sh where should I look at? Um, the, uh, the, the last question is actually maybe um, a bit more uh, complex, meaning uh, question 40, if you can show question 40, uh, the last uh, last slide. Yes. This one is a bit more tricky in the sense that uh, it does not, uh, it, it you need to build something in the dashboard in order to be able to, to look for those data. Um, because for all the other questions, you we have already built the dashboard, so you can just play with filters and things like that, and you will find the answer and probably, as I was saying, find issues. That's the goal. Huh? Uh, again, not answering the questions, but finding the issues. And um, this one requires you to build something, uh, and so that's a bit more tricky because you need to, to learn to use the tool. Um, 
to see in the end it should so probably take some time to see in the end whether um, you prefer taking time on what is already built that's also part of the strategy and so you have to work as a team and think of the time uh, so there are here many questions select pro the ones that look the most relevant to you the goal is also to to have your own ideas eh? we are just giving here some suggestions of places you could uh, look at but uh, there are many other possibilities in, in the data um, so be creative and um, yeah take care of um, pay attention to your time the time you spent in on this voila that's uh, basically the case uh, we'll be present uh, here uh, all day during the case to answer your questions I, I'll be with a colleague will uh, be passing by but also in a, in a specific room that will be communicated as just said before um, good luck <laughs>
the, the, the turnover and the evolution of those hospitals. That's what we are, we are, we are doing, and we would love to do this in a more uh, infrastructural cloud solution. For the moment, all the hospitals are working on-premise with their own infrastructure, and we want to do this in a cloud infrastructure through our big partner, which is NRB. NRB is also the main shareholder of those. And last but not least, it will have to be done with mobile solution for the patient themselves, but also for all the, tier care, the care takers in the hospital, also in the administrative part of the hospital, but also in the care part of the hospital. Our DNA with Indogi is trust and together. That's the way we are working. And our USP on a UNIX selling proposition is this client intimacy. As I told you, we are number one in Belgium and we are also the only one providing all, all those solutions. We have competitors on the clinical part of verification, fortification, on ERP, on pharmacy, but none of our competitor is present in all the solution of a hospital. It creates for us a real close intimacy to the hospital. That's why in terms of expertise, but also in terms of digital solution, we have our USP on our specificity. That's what we are for the moment values and client intimacy. Your mission, if you accept it, is of course, and you know what the reference I take, is really the way how can we extract and create more value from the basic data generated within the hospitals. As you understood, we have all those solutions, we are provided, providing all the data of the hospitals, but we are not doing anything interesting or we are not providing an added value through all the data we are providing. The data are there, they are present. How do we use them to help the hospital to go further? How do we help those data to assist the management of the hospital to create really a more effective way of working? How do we use those data to help the caretakers, the, the nurses, the, the doctors, the physicians to provide for less money, better care, or to improve the way they are providing care to the patient? And how do we use also those data to help the patient? Because of course, the first objective of the hospital is to provide the best possible service for the patient. And through those data, how can you provide something like a cockpit for really the CEO, the management, the caretaker of the hospital for the patient to really have all those information in a cockpit, which is helping them in rationalizing the way they are creating the added value for the patient and for the hospital themselves. We would also love to provide this cockpit in an application. How could we do that? And what are the critical factors that are needed for the patient, for the caretakers, and for the management of the hospital? What kind of information do all those people need, those people need to take the right decision at the right time to the cockpit. And when you have defined this app, this way of preventing the cockpit to the management, to the caretaker and to the patient, can you create through that the right business model to make Zogi the real leader on that topic and to provide the real investment on those specific topics. That's a deliverable you need to do. You have one day to do it. And I think that the important thing is it needs to help, of course, Zogi, but more, more than that, it needs to help and the hospital and the patient to build this trust relation within Zogi and to provide them the right added value for all of us. Thank you for the challenge. Good luck. When you try to deliver a challenge in the healthcare, pay attention. You will have the will to, pro to work in the healthcare sector for years and years because it's certainly the sector where the challenges are the most valuable for both of us. Thank you and good luck. Okay, you guys. Um, so the third partner for this uh, 6BMC is going to be um, the uh, Dupigny company. So Dupigny is a Belgian family-owned juice company. This case will be regarding a supply chain uh, situation. 
So, of course, you guys got here. You guys have tasted their delicious juice. Uh, let's watch uh, and see what uh, kind of case they have provided for you. J'ai commencé dans la production classique des de, de fermes agricoles, betteraves, framboises, et puis je me suis lancé dans les petits fruits. Et de là, j'ai commencé en 2012 la production de jus. On prend des fruits de qualité qu'on cueille dans nos vergers ou alentour, ici dans la région, et on les presse tout de suite, à pleine maturité. Comme ça, ils ont plein de saveurs, plein d'arômes. On prend les fruits, on les lave, on les presse, et puis on le pasteurise et on l'emballe. La qualité principale de nos produits, c'est qu'ils sont 100% fruits. Il n'y a aucun ajout. Pas d'eau, pas de sucre, pas de conservateur, pas de colorant, 100% naturel. Le plus important dans notre produit, c'est la maturité des fruits. Avoir des fruits pleins d'arômes et pleins de goût. We want to innovate and propose a new package. So we went to France and visited the company that makes push-ups for wines. But they said we were crazy and that the package was for wine and not for juice. But we did it and now we're the market leaders in Belgium and even Europe. It's very easy to use, to carry, to store and has a low carbon footprint. 80% less than a 75 centiliter glass bowl. And unlike bottles, it doesn't break. The juice also stays for much longer, six weeks after opening the push-up. We're very proud to sell our juice in almost all of the lays in Belgium. The case for the process management challenge is the following. How can Dipini improve the carbon and energy footprint of its apple juice production while remaining profitable? We we'll only focus on two major steps of the production, the apple procurement and the pasteurization. Secondly, how can Dupini promote their products and inform about their concerns and initiatives around environmental subjects? Good luck for all the cases and I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow afternoon. Um, so there it is you guys so I guess you guys since you're still here you decided to accept the mission Ethan Hunt uh, so Saturday afternoon you will be evaluated on a presentation you will do in front of juries experts companies etc 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 you will have a PowerPoint presentation you will have your ideas and you will have your beautiful faces so uh, get ready that that will take place tomorrow uh, afternoon so these presentations will be five minute presentations followed by a 10 minute Q and A with uh, the companies. So five minute presentation, 10 minute Q and A. Th uh, those will be your um, pitches for, the, you for your different ideas. Regarding the winners, now regarding the winners, every team, uh, once every team has presented uh, their solutions, the juries will get together and uh, decide on the three uh, winners for each case. So the winning teams will be announced at the closing ceremony that will take place tomorrow evening. And if you are one of them, you will be able to come and present your solution right here with me to the audience. Okay? So that is the um, idea. Um, regarding... Uh, I use the same te techniques as when I'm teaching. This is cool. Uh, so... Um, Except I'm a little, I'm a little bit more structured. Uh, so all the information about the rooms uh, will be displayed on the on the screen in the main lobby. So uh, keep your eyes peeled and look out for that. Uh, and, and it will also be sent by text message. Okay. Okay, you guys, we got to the surprises. So there are lots of surprises in this uh, 6BMC. I'll start with the first one, which is a contest by Koizu. And so the idea with this contest is that you send your best shot in front of the photo call to the Instagram account of the BMC. 
The staff of the BMC will then pick the five most original pictures, and the winners will, will win uh, two places for a Coesio. So this Coesio prize is going to be um, four districts, that's what they call it, uh, to be crossed as a team, intense in, uh, adventure, and um, over a course that is uh, 12 meters high. Basically, it's a powerful experience loaded with action and strong emotions. That's the first uh, contest, Koizu. The second contest is going to be Launch Career. Now, this contest, the winners will w will win an electric scooter. So, yeah, nice. Nice. So, you guys are wondering, what is Launch Career? Well, Launch Career is basically a Tinder for business. Tinder for business. Pretty cool. So, it's a digital platform where students can showcase their achievements and, s and, uh, and skills to potential employers. Uh, candidates can be discovered by their uh, ideal employers, sign up, match match an employer, apply for your dream job, internship, and events, okay? So, in order to register for these contests, you guys will need to look for the QR codes that will d be displayed on the screens on, uh, on the campus, okay? So, keep your eyes peeled, look for these Easter eggs, which will be these QR codes, so that you guys are able to register for these different uh, contests. Um, okay, so I'm moving on to uh, the, the second surprise of the BMC, which is going to be the BMC prize. Now, uh, the BMC prize is going to be a Marshall speaker, so a speaker with the Marshall brand, and a two-person trip around Europe for three days. How great is that, huh? Uh, so, um, I have reached the end of my flashcards so um, the contest will start today at 10 o'clock what time is it so you guys have a few minutes to go and get a, a, a cup of coffee drink some juice etc the rooms uh, will be um, screened on the screens and the first case will start at 10 o'clock so uh, look out uh, on the screens to know which room you go to and at 10 o'clock the case will stay uh, um, will start. Okay, good luck everyone.